guys oh i am filming this review guys at 5 41 in the morning i've just gotten back home and watched love island i know it's been such a late review guys i was out celebrating my friend's book launch i looked absolutely beautiful in this outfit it's giving wow like wow anyways um now we got to get into this review guys we got to get into this beard the skin the freshness of it all and I'm doing this so early in the morning because I said to myself, when I return home, I'm doing my Love Island review. I'm not going to sleep. The sleep will come after. Look at the effort I'm putting in for you guys. Effort is attractive. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Literally, click that button and subscribe. My Love Island event is coming up soon and definitely go buy tickets. It's in the pinned comment and in the bio as we see who takes the crown when it comes to this season of Love Island, my last Love Island event, guys, because I'm really burned out when it comes to this whole show. So, you know, my last Love Island event, definitely go buy tickets, bring your friends, or even if you are coming alone, you are more than welcome to. We have a very lit group chat with all of those who are coming as solo guests and you are more than welcome to come and be added to the chat so that you can, you know, make acquaintances and come with people rather than you know wanting to be alone or you know having the anxiety of being alone and etc i do a lot of activities on my own i think it's great to do so but you know there is anxiety when it comes to that but event is going to be absolutely amazing so definitely go and buy tickets go and buy tickets guys there's not a lot there's not a lot left now and i'm not adding another round um anyway let's get into this subscribe to the channel we've got a lot to break down listen i'm not mad at what ty and abby were saying I'm not mad at what Ty was saying. You know, I feel like there is an issue where people vocalize unnecessarily. You don't need to vocalize it. It's done now. But, you know, they're all going to say it because it affects them in the villa because they're all living together. And I think that, you know, it was the wrong choice. I, you know, theoretically speaking, um, you want to, you dump the couples that are the not strongest. And what Ty said was right. And I do agree with him in that, you know, Katie and Uzi were technically the strongest, had more of a, you know, bond. Other couples were far newer. A one one was a friendship couple. So I get it. But at the same time, when, you know, Whitney was like, Mitch is a big character, it's not about character. It's not about how big of an impact somebody has in the villa. It's about two people in a relationship and which one is more stronger. And it's not like Ella B and Mitch were together for one day and she just came in. They had significant issues in their relationship with Abby. It was a continuous triangle. He kept flipping back and forth. He couldn't decide. So, you know, if I was in that position, I would have easily just picked Katie and Uzi on the basis of which couples are stronger. And evidently, Katie and Uzi are stronger. I don't think that Whitney is wrong. She obviously clashes with Abby and she's like to Abby, well, you know, you asserting yourself, making comments about the fact that, you know, X, Y, Z, it's like you're quick to do so when it comes to with Ella B sitting with the girls um, and then you do it again. Your opinion is going to land differently than everybody else's because you were just involved in that triangle. So therefore, Ella is going to be even more sensitive to it and going to feel like, you know, she's not of worth based on what you are saying. And, you know, you don't need to add your opinion. You can have your opinion, but... You don't need to really add it because emotions are very high. And the reason why you could be so quick to add your opinion and, you know, jump off the back of what Ty is saying is because you do have this bitterness that you were left out of the couple and Mitch dropped you for somebody else and you don't like that. You are entitled to your feelings. You are entitled to your emotions. You're entitled to feel the way you did from how you were treated. Absolutely. She was treated very poorly by Mitch. So she's entitled to feel that way. But the delivery of that entitlement, the delivery that she's entitled to, the delivery of her emotions can land differently for other people who are involved in that triangle. And she could be doing that as a root of emotional upset, which is, a, you know, a form can be bitterness. So I do agree with what Whitney is saying is that, you know, it does come from somewhere because um, you're vocalizing more. And evidently, you were just involved in it. You have the emotions. So for her to say, um, you know, I don't feel bitter. It is a fact. The two things I believe can coexist. I do think it is also a fact that we, um, Katie and Uzi were the strongest couple, but also I definitely feel like there's some emotional displacement within Abby over the last week because it's been a roller coaster for them, and therefore she felt like she wanted to just vocalize it and you know tell her stuff. Now I also feel like Ella B makes sense. I feel like where she, how she feels also makes sense to me because it's coming from somebody that she doesn't want it from. And all they've heard in the first like, couple of hours is KD Uzi, KD Uzi, KD Uzi. So they feel like, well, you know, nobody wants me here. Like, I'm not worth anything. Well, I'm just as worth as everybody else. I'm just as worthy as being everybody else. So I get that point and I get why she feels like that. But theoretically speaking, Ella B, KD and Uzi were the stronger couple because Mitchell was going back and forth on you and Abby. And therefore, people's perception of you as with Mitchell is that you guys are not that strong. I also believe that Abby is right in that, you know, Ella B did not come in just for Mitchell. My girl was trying to get tight. 
She wasn't just going to Ty to have chats with him because they have history. She, if Ty patterned and entertained it, she would have definitely gone through with it. And she was definitely going that way with the conversation that she was having. Battle of Ella's, you know, shame you can't, uh, uh, the kisses and the club. Like, why are you talking about all this stuff? Evidently you're doing it because you liked the guy and you wanted him. So Mitchell was not your first choice, child. So, you know, Abby was right in that moment, but I also feel like everyone is right to a certain extent in terms of LED's perception. I get Abby's perception of which couple, etc., And I also get Whitney's perception as well is that it does come from bitterness. You don't need to always vocalize your opinion. You're entitled to it, Whitney said. We don't need to vocalize it all the time. So, you know, it's not always about character, but at the same time, Scott is still here. Why is he still here, child? What em emotional relationship does he have? He doesn't have an emotional relationship but because his character, the public like, therefore he's maintained himself in the villa. So, you know, I get the the root of what Winnie's saying about character and Mitch's character in the villa and etc. That's the angle that I came from it because the public are also coming from that same angle when it comes to saving Scott. If we really want to keep it buck, that's what I feel like it is because he's not in an emotional relationship. I want to see Scott in that finale because I like Scott. And I know his family now, I've spoken to them, they're very nice people, but I honestly don't want to see him there with Abby because I just think it's unnecessary. A good quality in Scott that I like is that he defends his woman, his partner, continuously, even if they're wrong, um, publicly, which I think is a nice thing to do and then privately he may have a conversation about and etc. I don't like how Mitch is behaving. I honestly find him very annoying the last couple of days. I feel like he is disrespectful to Abby. I don't like him seeing being so quick to clap back at a girl that he was just seeing for a couple of weeks. I just don't like seeing a man speaking to a girl like that that he was just interested in. I just find it it's just, to me, it just seems odd and weird and uncomfortable. Not me giving you guys depth analysis and energy at 6 a.m. Like, who am I? And I'm sober. But anyways, um, I just, I don't know. I feel like Mitch is so quick to like, you know, say something. And it's like, babes, like, relax, like, roll the takes back as she said because you were acting like a fool you have been playing them both back and forth suddenly now all you're thinking about is LB. Like he's just a liar he's been jumping on all the girls since they've come in you know when he was trying to flirt with jess he was so quick to throw sammy under the bus same with molly trying to throw zach under the bus so i just feel like he's just doing this and now suddenly he's all LB. no you weren't bro you weren't all LB. you were in between both individuals and therefore the people in the villa might see Cade and Uzi are stronger because Mitchell clearly was going back and forth and didn't have tunnel, vi tunnel vision. I also don't think Ella B even likes Mitchell because she didn't come in straight for him. So I don't get that couple. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't see any longevity in that couple in any capacity when it comes to being on the outside of the villa. And I'm honestly tired of the dumb triangle BS that we've been seeing for the last week and a half because it's annoying. I don't care about the whole Abby Mitchell Scott stuff or Abby Mitchell LLB stuff. Whatever it is, I'm not here for it and I find it annoying. I honestly do. But I feel like some of them are right in different perspectives and that can all coexist at the same time. I do agree with Ty vocalizing his opinion and Ty and Ella at the end, when he asked her, you know, said he was in love with her, etc., and they had those emotional moments, they were taking pictures. That seemed very uncringe to me. It looked very authentic and it looks like Ty has very good genuine feelings for, um, for Ella. I feel like Ty is a very good contestant on the show because not only does he cause um, this stuff back and forth with Ella, but he is like a ghost producer for other narratives and storylines. And I like that he vocalizes his opinion. Whilst it may be annoying for him to do so, it gets drama going. And that's what we want the show for. The show is more for drama than for love. So let's not act like we only want love to see love on the show. He brings the drama and I'm here for it. But at the same time, it can be annoying uh, for Whitney to say to somebody and dictate how they feel when that's not really the case because you're not them. So whilst I agree with Whitney that there is bitterness in Abby, I can also see why Abby is frustrated because you're telling me how I feel, but you're not me, bro. So, you know, I get why she, Whitney would say that again because of, Ab of Abby's action. She doesn't need to vocalize and be the most vocal person about, you know, we really want Katie and Uzi here because it can land differently based on, you know, the history of your relationship with both Ella B and Mitchell. So I get it. I feel like everybody's right to a certain extent. I don't feel like anybody's, you know, only wrong. I feel like Abby is doing the most. I feel like she is over talkative and just, you know, trying to get just, it's just, it's just every day trying to just you do, like relax, just focus on you and Scott. You don't need to have constant conversation. Who is messaging me at this godforsaken time? So I, I get it. I feel like this is a very interesting um, episode. My apologies for the lateness of this review, guys. Obviously, was out. Um, and we'll see what tomorrow brings, you know, with Scott clapping back quickly. One thing about Whitney and Scott, they can clap back very quickly, child. Both of them can clap back good. I do also feel like um, there's a setup going on. I feel like there is a Whitney setup going on. 
Um, and it's reminding me of Montana from season three where this whole Whitney is popular, Whitney is popular, Whitney is popular. And the, Ian Sterling said it in his narrative. Everybody now also, you know, sees them as popular um, because of, you know, they were announced it. it. To me, it comes across as a setup that we're going to try, you know, make her come across big headed now because she knows she's the most popular and therefore that's going to work against her from winning that show. That's how it comes across to me. And I do find it to be annoying uh, that it can come across like that now that people will look at Whitney as big headed because she now knows she's the favorite. Um, and we shouldn't let that change our perception of her. Um, I don't think that we need to know or that the villain needed to know that Winnie and Loken were the most popular and everybody was clapping. Like that was very unnecessary because I feel like it can come across as a setup for the public to look at her thinking, oh, she's so big headed now because she thinks she's the most light. Look at her telling Abby how she feels. Look at her running the, the, the whole villa and everything. People aren't gonna like that and it can work against her. And I just hope that that doesn't happen with her like it did with Montana. I think it is unnecessary to, you know, say that. We've got another messy challenge tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I think today was also a good episode, but this Abby, Ella B, Mitchell storyline has run dry for me. I just think all of these four, all of these two couples, they don't make no sense. I don't see Scott and Abby working. I don't see Ella B and Mitchell working. Like go away. Just go away. All of you leave the villa. I'm tired. It's annoying. I'm not interested in any of it. Unless a bombshell comes in for Scott, I don't want to see him in the finale with Abby because it doesn't make any sense to me. Ella and Tyreek have grown on me a lot today. I feel like there's a lot more authenticity from Tyreek, you know, in his um, message. I don't doubt his love for Ella at all. I feel like it's, you know, he definitely does like her. And he definitely is genuine. For some reason, people on here think that I hate Tyreek. I don't hate Tyreek. If I'm sitting here dragging and hating somebody, that means I actually like them. It means I like them a lot because that means you're making me talk about you and that's what we need on the show. So if you are a villain on the show or if you are someone like Tariq who's constantly egging stuff on or going back and forth to LB, you know, etc. I like that. I think he's a fantastic contestant. Probably one of the best in my opinion. I think Ty, I think Whitney, I think Ella are three great contestants. I also think Jess is also a really good contestant as well. Four, you know, very reactive people. And Scott, when he wants to go there, which I feel like we need to see more of and we're seeing tomorrow as well. So... Yeah, very interesting guys. Break it down in the comments below. I wanna know your thoughts when it comes to this episode. I really do. Subscribe to the channel, click that button guys. I'm filming this video for you at flipping 6 a.m. in the morning. I need to now edit and put it up. And I've got meetings tomorrow. So I'm really trying my best to get this out for you on time, even though it's late, you know, so you guys can wake up and see the review. Please do subscribe and click that button. Check out the link in the bio below and the pinned comment for my last Love Island event. Definitely go and buy tickets. 50% of proceeds are being donated to charity called Sister Space as well. So not only are you coming for food, for goodie bags, for drinks, to watch Love Island, you know, with me, and we can chill and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm do a QA and I'm gonna do a speech as well, but you're also donating the money to a charity as well. I'm gonna do a speech at the end. I'm gonna also have an announcement to make. So I want it to be a great event. There aren't many tickets left, guys. So I definitely want you guys to grab them all. It hasn't even been 72 hours yet since I've announced it. And you know, all the tickets are nearly gone. Early bird sold out in half an hour. I haven't even announced it on Instagram yet. Like, truly, the power of YouTube is wild. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, head over to my Love Island event, and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.